Hello everyone, welcome to Almighty Tricks. In this tutorial, we are going to understand about internationalization concept and we will be developing one website which will support internationalization. To start with this uh, tutorial, we need some prerequisites. Let's understand those things. So we should have uh, Node.js installed in our PC and we should have an ID or editor like uh, Visual Studio Code or we can have uh, Atom or we can have IntelliJ IDA, anything is fine. And we should have basic understanding on React or Angular or Vue.js. So in this video, we will be using React uh, application. So using React application, we are going to develop one website where it will support internationalization concept. So first of all, we need to understand what is internationalization. So internationalization is the design and development of a product, application or document content that enable easy localization for target audience that vary in culture, region or language. Okay, let's understand this definition in an example. Say I have developed one website that is developed in Hindi language and uh, this website is used in uh, India uh, because we, we speak in Hindi so Indian people can understand this website. Let's say in future this website can be used by Chinese people as well as in Korean people. Okay, so in that case, the language uh, of chi China people is Chinese, they speak Chinese, South Korean people speak Korean language. So in that case, if uh, they use this website, they cannot understand, right? Because they speak Chinese and Korean, but this website is developed in Hindi. So they cannot understand. So what is the solution? So what I can do, I can build separate website with Chinese language and Korean language. So I can have separate code base, which will have the Chinese version and Korean version. Okay, so one problem is there, like a similar code, I need to write two times. Okay, let's say in future, we need to support for other countries. So for them also, I need to write different uh, code base and there I need to support different language. So the workload will be high, right? So we should not do like this. So this uh, approach is not correct. So what is the correct approach? Let's understand. So we have this website in Hindi. So we need to apply internationalization in between. And this internationalization, what it will do? It will convert Hindi language to Hindi language. So currently we are uh, using this website in India. That is fine. Then let's say this website is used in China. So in that case, it will convert this Hindi language to Chinese language. Similarly, for South Korea, it will convert to Korean language. Okay, so this process, this process, it's uh, we can we can uh, use one library called JavaScript library called uh, i18 Next JavaScript library. So that using this library, we can convert this language one language to another language. Okay, so i18 JavaScript language it provides a complete solution to localize your product for web to mobile and desktop. So this is the uh, documentation. You can check out the documentation. Let's understand what type of website we are going to develop in this tutorial. So this is the website which we are going to develop. So we can have one navbar. In the navbar, we can have this list English, Hindi and Spanish. Whenever we'll change this uh, language, so accordingly it will change. Let's say it is showing in Hindi now, sorry, English now. So let me change to Hindi. Then it will change to Hindi and form also it will change. Similarly, if I change to Spanish, then it will change to Spanish. In the first video, we are going to set up i18 next JavaScript library in the React application. And then we'll develop this navbar with this select box and we'll develop this one where we can change the language. Then it will reflect accordingly. And then in the last video, we'll be developing one registration form. And based on the language change, this uh, text or placeholder it will change okay so stay tuned see you in the next video thank you for watching